Welcome to the Twisted League. For two months only, I'll be locked on the continent of Zaya with a fresh Iron Man account, competing with other players to finish as many tasks as possible. With powerful relics offering new and innovative ways to progress, the Twisted League is sure to be a true test of game knowledge and theory crafting. Let's get to it. Hello and welcome back to another Twisted League progress video. At the end of the last episode, I hit 99 fire making and we're kicking off episode two at Wintertod still. My aim is to go for 50 mil fire making XP. I had considered going for 100 mil straight off the bat, but I think I might wait until I have the fifth relic before doing that. Um, but that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before I get into the Winter Todd footage, I want to briefly go over my overarching goals for the league as a whole. Ultimately, I want to get as many points as possible so that I can buy as many of the rewards as possible. And having seen the relics that are available, I'm pretty set on doing a lot of the clue tasks as they hold a lot of point value. I'll be choosing the Treasure Hunter relic at tier 4 and then the Xerix Wisdom relic at tier 5 for the further 2 times XP multiplier in all skills. In order to do as many elite clues as possible, I'm going to shoot for 95 Slayer so that I can grab a Mystic Road Bottom from a Hydra, which is one of the Elite Emote Clue item requirements. I'd also like to aim for base 80 stats in all skills for the points, though whether that is actually going to be possible in the two months the league is uh, open for is debatable. Hopefully though that gives you a bit more of an insight into the playstyle and the strategy that I'm running with. Hey, just hit 25 million fire making XP, which I believe is a very cool 250 points, halfway to that 50 million mark. 80 fletching, which is a very nice level milestone for the points. I don't really know that fletching is a useful skill as such in this game mode. I haven't really looked into whether I'll bother training it too much, because I guess the only points I'm going to be getting from it after this level 80 is potentially 99 and that might be a little bit too slow, um, but very pleasing to get all the way from 20 fletching initially at Winter Todd to 80. That's really nice, actually. Another nice little milestone coming in, 60 construction. So I've gone from level 15 all the way to 60, which is really nice. That's gonna cut out a lot of the grind. Obviously wanna go for 80 at some point in the league. So I guess if I come back to Winter Todd once I've got the fifth relic, which is gonna be my final XP boost then that that might cut out a lot of the construction XP as well actually. Just missed it but another nice little milestone 60 wood cutting which I believe is another easy 50 points. Coming in with 200 winter todd kills as well the next milestone for winter todd kills is 300 which I'm certainly not going to reach on my way to 50 mil by making XP possibly I might get it if I come back and do 100 mil but I'm not too sure it's only worth 50 points so it's not something that I think I'll grind out if I don't get it passively. Hey there we go that is 50 million fire making XP also finishing up with 72 agility. Shame I didn't quite hit 73 for the rune crafting shortcut but that won't take too long to get when I come back with the fifth relic. Uh, 63 nearly 64 construction, 84 fletching and 60 wood cutting which is pretty good actually from mainly focusing on the fire making XP. So unless I am mistaken, I should now be able to claim enough points to unlock my next relic, which is going to be the Treasure Seeker Relic. Really looking forward to this one. It's going to be a lot of fun doing all of these clues. So we are going to lock that one in. And next up, I want to open up all of my Winter Todd crates. I've got a lot. I mean, this is over 200. But before I do that, I do want to train the relevant skills that um, will increase the rewards that I get from the crates up to around level 40 just to give uh, slightly better loot. The ones that I've got remaining are Herb Lore, Farming and Crafting. So basically just going to do a bit of Hasidious favor and um, start working on those and hopefully open all these crates before the end of the video. All right, just completed the Depths of Despair quest. So reading this favor certificate will get me up to 100% Hasidious favor. I'm now going to work on crafting which I'm gonna do through stone chests because that's basically passive XP. So I'll do like one inventory of flax to bowstrings to get up to 22 crafting. Then I'm gonna train my thieving up to 64 on the fruit stalls and then go to the stone chests and uh, start doing some progress on that towards the Xerix talisman as well. Hey, there we go, that is 64 thieving. So I'll head on over to the stone chests 
I'm going to try and set up some farming patches in the meantime just so that when I come back to bank I can do those in between and get a little bit of XP. Well, I was not expecting to get the talisman that quickly. I'm only a few levels in, so that's really nice to get early on. It's a league task, and if I get any more, I can just dismantle them for extra fangs to put on the talisman as charges, so that's pretty good. Hey, that is my first clue scroll as well. Really nice to have these stacking up in the inventory, so I don't really have to worry about teleporting away and doing them. Medium clues are going to be tricky, I think, because of the adamant armor emote steps. There's not really an easy way to get those items at a low level other than through medium clues, so hopefully I can stack up a few of these and get some of those uh, Adiyama pieces early on. I found a bunch of uncut gems that I'd forgotten about in the bank, so I'm just finishing up level 40 crafting with some bowstrings and now I just want to quickly rush 40 herb lore and 40 farming so that I can open my winter todd crates. I will go back to the stone chests at some point for 80 thieving um, but for now I think I'm just going to be thieving master farmers and planting allotment and herb seeds as quickly as I can. Well it didn't take long to get 34 farming so I'll go and do one round of tithe farm which will probably take me up to about 50 and then I'll just make whatever potions I can with the herbs that I get from one or two of these uh, herb runs and that should do me and then we will open the crates. All right, well that is the first round of Tithe Farm done. I did mess up slightly and lose two fruit but I'm hoping that doesn't cost me too much. 44,000 XP up to 46 farming, that's pretty good. And I do want to come back to Tithe Farm and do all of the tasks here because I think it's worth the points and it's going to be a good way of getting my farming up really quickly. But for the time being, just going to do a little bit more herb lore and then, as I keep saying, open the Winter Todd crates. Alright, well this is the moment of truth. I think it's over 200 Winter Todd crates to open up. Regardless of whether I get um, all of the unique items, it's going to be really good in terms of supplies. So. I'm going to be happy with whatever I get and just curious to see how high it takes my um, skills to be honest so let's get cracking. Oh there we go, already a item that is the pyromancer garb. And another pair of warm gloves and a dragon axe, wow. that. I'm pretty sure that's the rarest item you can get, it's like a 1 in 10k. Ridiculous. First Bruma Torch, second Bruma Torch. And that's the third and final Bruma Torch, I've got three of those and three of the warm gloves. So that means I won't get any more of those, and I think it's a magic seed and a torstal seed that I can get now from those. Hey, oh, there we go, two more pyromancer pieces, the hood and the robes, so I just need the boots now to finish the set. There we go, the last piece, so I've got the full Pyromancer set, I guess the only two things I could possibly get now in terms of uniques would be the Tome of Fire and the Phoenix Pet. Another Pyromancer Garb. There we go, that is all of the crates completely opened. To be honest, I'm really pleased to finish the Pyromancer set. I wasn't expecting to get the tome and I don't think it's going to be that useful for me because I'm not going to be doing an awful lot of end game content like the raids um, so getting the dragon axe actually is really good that's going to be the best axe possible on Zaya and that's really rare to get that one uh, no phoenix but of course wasn't expecting that either in terms of supplies yeah fairly decent amount of herbs some good logs and ores fairly good chunk of sharks actually in 500k cash that's really nice um, some dynamite and some gems to cut for crafting. Some decent seeds too. All in all, I'm pretty happy with that. A that is 75 thieving, which is a very easy 250 points. I just need to go and thieve from the gem stall in the Karen courtyard. I will go for 80 at some point, but I'm going to stop here uh, just because I wanted to knock out those points quite quickly. 
And I'm going to wrap up the video there guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. I had a lot of fun putting this one together and it was really pleasing to be able to finish off 50 million fire making XP and open all the crates as well. I don't think at the time I really took in just how rare the dragon axe is. It's actually twice as rare as the pet and obviously a really useful item to have for any woodcutting that I'm going to be doing. So that was pretty nice. Next episode I'm going to be working towards the fifth and final relic. I put together a little plan of the tasks that I want to complete in order to achieve that. Um, so have a quick look here, it's a bit of a sneak peek I suppose for the next episode. Essentially a lot of tithe farm, getting a few skills rounded up to 80, doing all of the quests and the favour as well. Don't know if I'll manage to do that all in the next episode but certainly we'll get a good chunk out of the way. If you enjoyed this video please do drop a like and if you want to make sure you don't miss the next episode subscribe as well and I'll see you all in the next episode. Take care.